this present time are not worthy to be compared with all the glory which shall be revealed in us. This old body gets so tired and so feeble, but it's not worthy to be compared. Welcome to Saint Night Hymn Praise. I don't know about y'all, but that ministered to my spirit tonight. Sometimes I do things and you just never know how it's going to touch you later on down the road. But that ministered to my spirit tonight. 
For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be, prepared, to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. Come on, somebody. Amen. Go ahead and put your favorite, I'm mean, not your favorite, go ahead and put the city and state that you're tuning in from tonight. And my wife says, she said, list your favorite kind of ice cream in the chat. Come on, put with city and state you're tuning in from tonight and your favorite kind of ice cream. And we'll be right back. Come on, sing with me. I'll be singing up there. I'll be singing up there. Come on up to bright glory. I'll be singing up there. I'll be singing up there. I'll be singing up there. Come on up to bright glory. I'll be singing up there. If you miss me from singing down here And you can't find me nowhere Come on up to bright glory I'll be singing up there I'll be singing up there I'll be singing up there Come on up to bright glory I'll be singing up there if you miss me from praying down here, you can't find me nowhere. Come on up to bright glory. I'll be singing up there. Oh, I'll be singing up, singing up there. I'll be singing up, singing up there. Come on up to bright glory. I'll be singing up there. If you miss me from walking down here And you can't find me nowhere Come on up to bright glory I'll be singing up there Oh, I'll be singing up there I'll be singing up there Come on up to bright glory I'll be singing up there if you miss me from shouting down here And you can't find me nowhere Come on up to bright glory I'll be singing up there Oh, I'll be singing up there Amen, we're back. Interesting choices, interesting choices. Those of y'all who picked Butter Pecan, I want to let you know that I know that your faith is on another level. Amen. You're, you're, you're on another level if you pick butter pecan ice cream. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Listen, we are working on our, we're going to be working on our sixth uh, hymn roll call video. So if you didn't see your picture in this one, you've never been in any one of them, you are invited to join us by sending a picture of yourself with your hymn books or song books. It's got to be you and the hymn books and song books together, send them to hwpcfamily1 at gmail.com, hwpcfamily1 at gmail.com. Amen. And this Friday coming up, everybody, is our Baltimore I Love Hymns gathering. Yes, it's just days away, and we are excited about seeing those of y'all who, who are going to be there. And of course, uh, uh, the registration on that Saturday is $35. We're going to be talking about how to incorporate hymns effectively back into our worship while pushing ahead in other styles. I'm going to show you some new music. We're going to have uh, interesting and provocative discussions and we're also going to help those of y'all who may have trials uh, troubles in your ministry at church we're going to help you troubleshoot those things you can join us um, um, and we will I will also um, have a zoom link for those who can't join us in person but need to join us by zoom and Friday nights as him sing along will be um, streamed on live on all of our networks and so we are welcome we hope that all of you all will be able to make it those of you all in the Baltimore area if you don't know, now you know. Amen. We've been trying to get it out to everybody that we're going to be there. You can go to Eventbrite 
type in I Love Hymns Baltimore and even on Eventbrite and register. Amen. Maybe you can't make anything, but you want to sow a seed. Amen. You can go on Eventbrite and just register because it all helps. Uh, it all helps us to put on these events. And, and by the end of the month, our plan is to have our I Love Hymns gathering in Chicago. Um, so we have a lot going on. We ask that y'all would keep us in prayer as we continue to march on in our mission. Thank you all so much. God bless you. Let's get to it. Amen. My guest tonight is none other than Bishop Jeremiah Murphy. Uh, he was with us last year. He is a living legend um, in our area, in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, well known across the country. He's a bishop in the Lord's Church. Uh, he's the pastor of the Leading Commandment Church Seventh Day, and he is one of the mentors of this area. I mean, the changed so many lives, including my own um, in the DMV area. And he's a, a wonderful, excellent, brilliant musician and songwriter. Would you all, and he has the voice, amen, that only God can give. Would you all welcome my friend and brother, Bishop Jeremiah Murphy, back to him praise. Let me get my applause together. Here we go. Wow. Amen. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. It is a pleasure to be here. God bless you, everybody. And I greet you with praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Look, 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 your praise the Lord sound better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad he's judging the hearts. So. <laughs> That's right. He's judging the hearts. I'm telling you, man, but you got it. I'm trying. <laughs> Did you ever wow. consider, before we started, did you ever consider going into radio? Um, I did not think about it as a profession, but I've done some subbing around here in the old days for mm. some of the gospel personalities that were on the air. Right, right. Okay. Let's get to it. I'll, st I'll start it off. Make sure y'all like and share and I let somebody else know that we're on.
precious name Ooh, there to my heart was the blood applied I'm singing glory to his name How to reach the masses men of every birth for an answer Jesus gave the key and he said if I if I be lifted up from the earth I'll draw all men unto me yes Lord oh lift him up yes sir Lift Jesus up till he speaks from eternity. And he will, he said, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Oh, lift him up. Come on, lift Jesus up. He's so worthy till he speaks from eternity. Thank the Lord. He said, if I, and I believe him, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men. I'll draw all men. I'll draw all men. I want to be among those men that he draws. I'll draw all men unto me. Take me back, doctor. Take me back <laughs> with the washboard. Come on now. I always got my washboard ready. <laughs> Take me back. You got me started over here. <laughs> Oh, Lord, the old days, and I uh, love them. Come on, come on now. <laughs> yes, sir.
I've heard thy voice yeah. and it told thy love to me. Tonight I long to rise in the arms of faith yeah. and God be closer, my Ashata, closer drawn. To thee, please draw me near. Near a blessed Lord to the cross where thou has died. Yes, Lord. Jesus, draw me near. I want to be nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Please consecrate me now to thy service O oh Lord by thy power and thy grace divine let my soul look up with a stead a steadfast hope and let my will let my will be lost in thine. Draw me nearer, please nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. We need you so bad, God, draw us nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious, to thy precious, mm, your precious. Oh God, we want to be near you because you're precious. Oh, to thy precious bleeding side. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bishop, I woke up one morning getting ready for morning devotion, and God woke me up with a different melody to that same song. Yes. It just says, Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. And let my soul look up with a steadfast hope and my will be lost in thine so draw me nearer nearer to the cross where thou hast died
living side. Amen. Mm. Powerful. Praise the Lord. Teach me mm. thy patience. Still with thee in closer, dearer company in work that keeps faith sweet and strong in trust that triumphs. Over brightly beams our Father's mercy from his light house evermore. He gives the keeping of the lights along the shore. So let the Lord where lights be burning and a gleam across the way some poor fainting some struggling seaman you may rescue you you went all the way back on that one bishop mm -hmm. yes lord i love those old ones when i was coming along we did not necessarily sing hymns in our church mm -hmm. but usually before the night service mm -hmm. those saints would gather around the piano and that's how i learned those hymns well, they didn't know, sing them always in service but before service yes they did well, you know what, I, I, I have concluded that they probably did sing them. They made them up on the spot, the Holy Ghost. And oh, they yes. became our hymns later on down the road. Yes, yes. You know? Amen. The name of that song was Let Your Lower Lights Be Burning. Is that, is that right? Uh, let the Lower Lights Be Burning, yes. The only reason why I knew that because somebody put it in the chat. Because I thought oh, amen. at first, I thought it was, <laughs> Oh, Master, Let Me. Oh, that was, Oh, Master, Let Me Walk With Thee in the beginning. Yeah, yeah okay, I got you, got you, yeah. Mm-hmm. But that, and I love that verse, teach me thy patience, still yes, with Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it reminds me of a, tis that old yes. ship of My Lord. Zion. I feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tis that old. Ship of Zion, tis that old Hallelujah. ship of Zion, get on board. You know why, Bishop? Because it why? has landed. Yes, sir. Many a thousand. It has landed. Many a, 
many a thousand it has it has landed many a thousand somebody needs to get on board get on Get on board. Do one more and then we'll talk a little bit. Yes, Lord. Mm, it's another you. day yes, Lord. that the Lord has kept me. It's another day that the Lord has kept me he has kept me from all evil and my mind stayed on Jesus it's another day that the Lord kept me and tonight I'm glad so very glad that the Lord has kept me and I'm so glad I'm glad that the Lord has kept me oh hallelujah god has kept me from all all evil i didn't do everything right but he's kept me from all evil i did a whole lot of wrong but god kept me from all evil my mind stayed on Jesus so I'm so glad that the Lord has has kept me glory 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 oh bless the name of God Brother, I don't know what's going on here tonight, but I feel him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's kept us from all evil. When the devil came to take us out, when he came for us, God kept us. Glory. And it was no goodness of our own. Glory to the name of Jesus. But we thank God for his goodness. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. 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 So I'm here today because God kept me. Yes. I'm alive today only because of His grace. He He kept me. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. God kept me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He kept me. So I wouldn't let go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He kept me. He kept me. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. He kept me. Thank you, Lord. My, 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 my. He kept me. Yes. Oh, yes, Lord. You didn't start it, so I don't know if we can talk or not. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, 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 can I get glory. about a hundred of y'all to put in the chat? He kept me. Yes. Oh, yes. He kept me. Yep. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. God kept me. Mm. He you, kept Jesus. me. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Well, God. God kept me. Yes. 
kept me. Bless his name. Hallelujah, God Thank you, Jesus. kept me. When you think about that thing, it ought to take you out. He so. kept me. Mm -hmm. God kept me. Holy Ghost move right now. He, he kept me. God kept me. He kept me. Why? So I wouldn't let go. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name Thank of you, God. Jesus. I feel a dance. Glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, I feel Lord. a dance. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. I got to thinking about my cousin who was uh, fell asleep at the wheel today. Oh, my Lord. And ran off the road, but he walked out of the vehicle. Glory Amen. to he Jesus. He kept him. <laughs> God kept him. Thank you, I think Jesus. About, I think about my mother who, when her brain hemorrhaged, and they only gave her a 30% chance to live, and they flew in a surgeon and said, she only has a 30% chance to live, but she walked away. God kept her. <laughs> she's still here. Yes. I think about all the times he's kept us, large mm. and small, big yes. and small. He kept us. Yes. He's kept us. When God says live, you cannot die. I don't care what happens. I don't care what they try to do to you. When God says live, you cannot die. Hallelujah. Ooh, Lord, mm. I'm, about to, I'm about to fall out now. Jeffrey Corey put in the chat, he kept me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, sir, Jeff Corey. Hallelujah. And we rejoice with you, brother. On, Hallelujah. Somebody. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. Jeff, the if, you, if, if, if you allow me, I went to see Jeff um, uh, when he woke up, and he was in a coma for six months. Mm. And I, I, I went to see him at Nova Hospital, and, and the doctor mm. came in the room. And they all they loved on him so much. They were really concerned about him, wanted to see him live. Amen. The doctor said that, uh, that he had died four times on the table. Four times. My Lord. But when you said God, when God says live. You can't. I don't know my Come on now. Glory. Allah, Baba. Mm. You cannot die. God will, is a keeper, and he mm. will keep you. And we're yes. praying that he keeps some people tonight. I heard that Pastor John Gray in South Carolina has had a pulmonary embolism and a blood clot Lord. sticking in the middle of his lung. His wife said if it moves to the right or to the left, he's out of here. Mm. But God is keeping it still. Yes. Amen. He's we're able. praying that God would heal his body and that he brings him through his two surgeries that he has to have. Mm -hmm. uh, we're praying for him, praying for all of you all who are in situations that only God can fix. Mm -hmm. Amen. God, Brother, God is a keeper. Can I please testify? Come on, come on. <laughs> One of our saints many years ago, she was taking care of her elderly aunt. And her aunt's name, we just simply called her Aunt Ada. And Aunt Ada took sick and was in a coma. And the doctor told her niece, you need to turn everything off and let her go because she is not going to recover from this. And the niece said to me, I couldn't do that because I'm not God. Uh -huh. And that thing encouraged me so. And when they had counted Aunt Ada out, mm. I went over to the house when Aunt Ada woke up. And I saw and talked to Aunt Ada sitting in the living room chair. Mm. And Aunt Ada was here for five more years when the doctor said, let her go. Mm. Mm -mm. God has the final say. And when, God, yeah, and when God speaks and he, ha and he decides to take you up, Shama. you still rejoice over all the years that oh, he yeah. allowed us to live and over this earth. You know, when we love ones, we, 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 we undoubtedly sorrow and grieve. And, and there's some things you just never get over. You just learn how to deal with. Mm -hmm. But you think, start to think about all the years. What if I had not had that person in my life? Where would my life be? And so I rejoice over all the years uh, mm -hmm. that I, when I think about people that, I, that were dear to me that I've lost, think about the times that we had. And I thank God for life tonight. Yes. Somehow I ought to give God praise for mm. life. Hallelujah. The opportunity to live. Amen. And mm. the sacrifice that Jesus made so that we may live. Hallelujah. And not just live, but have it more abundantly. Good God Almighty. <laughs> What a mighty God we serve. He's awesome. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Mm. Bishop, what you've been up to? 
Wow. <laughs> it has been a busy time, but I, I am grateful for the, the time being busy, and I thank God. Leading Commandment Church is doing wonderfully in both locations. We are here in the D.C. area, the DMV, we call it, and uh, we've been here since 1938, and we opened another branch just last, uh, last fall in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. So some of the saints and I from D.C. went down to see our saints there in North Carolina yesterday, and we had a T.I., M E. And, I, just, <laughs> Come on, and I was just getting off the plane yes. on Thursday evening from Jamaica. Praise the Lord. Yes, if I can testify one more time, <laughs> my awesome nephew said to me, mm. All you got to do is get your plane ticket and I will take care of everything else. Mm. And he kept his word. It mm. was wonderful. So God has been just blessing, blessing, blessing. And I want to live right. I want to do Come what he now. said. I want to be obedient. Because yeah. he right good, y'all. He, he <laughs> He's right, right good. good. Let's talk about legacy real quick. Your, your father pastored the church that you're pastoring now. Yes. Um, my father came to D.C. around 1926. He was born in 1906. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he sat under Bishop Kelsey at the Temple Church of God in Christ for mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he moved from there to the Church of the Living God, Pillar and Ground of the Truth, Bishop Rockwell Simonton. And when he left Bishop Simonton in 1938, mm -hmm. he began leading Commandment Church. Mm -hmm. And he pastored that church for 39 years. Praise and the Lord. Uh, the, 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 this is a long story that I'm really going to condense. <laughs> but everybody out there running, you might as well give up. It was prophesied <laughs> to me when I was a child that I was born to pastor the church. My mm. father told me, my aunt, who was a profound prophetess, <laughs> very few things she said didn't come to pass. And I'm mm. old enough now to look back and see and tell the truth. <laughs> okay, so then when they said that to me, I said, oh, no, I don't want to be no pastor. I don't want to be no preacher. I knew what I wanted to do, you know, for the most part, get out here and do music all over the country and do the things that I've done musically, et cetera, et cetera. But the Lord gave me a word for my daddy, and that word was this, whatever the Lord says to you, that you do. And he responded back to me and said, the Lord is telling me to anoint someone to preach, and I think it's you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, he was gone in six months, and I was expected to pastor the church, and I ran for 27 years. Mm. Another pastor came in and another pastor came in. I was still running. And the Lord said to me, driving in my car, he said, you're next. Mm. I said, uh-oh, uh-oh. And so finally, I couldn't run no more. I gave up, gave in, surrendered. Mm. And here we are. And here we are. So yes. when I was with you as, uh, um, so when I was a student teacher under you, you weren't pastoring at the time, were you? Right, I wasn't pastoring at the time. Uh -huh. Yeah, I did not start until 2008. Mm. Yeah, when, when we met, I was on the road, in other words, running. Wow. Well, look, while you were running, you, God still had a purpose for you because you helped me greatly. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory and I to think God. About, and I think about the many, the students that you had in that classroom at the time, the great and mighty things that they are doing. The ones that were, uh, the Kenny Hilliards, and there were others in that classroom that are doing yes. great and mighty things. You have really um, put some good seeds in the ground. Well, you know what, I thank God. There, there, there are too many to give the exact list, mm -hmm. but I thank God for um, Tim Steele. Yes. For Ricky Gillespie, mm -hmm. for Kenny Hilliard, mm -hmm. for Charles Bourne, for James Murphy. Mm -hmm. For Tamaria, oh Lord, I don't know what her married name is, right. <laughs> but she was Tamaria Thomas when she was there. All of these young people are just doing great, great things. Yeah. And Charles Bryant, and mm -hmm. I mean, just, just going down the list, there's so many. And I'm thankful for the times that we had together and even the reunions that we have had afterward. And there are so many more. Over 3,000 young people came through the Largo High School Choir during my tenure there. And I still hear from probably about a third of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful. Her name is uh, Tanisha Bradley now, somebody put. Is it Bradley? Yes, yes, to Maria Bradley. Yeah, yes, because yeah. she's married to Michael Bradley. There it yeah. is. Okay, yeah. I know Michael Bradley. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's married to him. So what do you say to, in a, b, 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 I'm going to have you sing a song, but, b, but what do you say to people who are school teachers? Um, how do we be an effective witness in a, in a school environment where there are rules? Yes. Um, 
I tried my best to live righteously before them. Mm -hmm. There were days that I messed up royally. <laughs> there were days that I had to come in there and apologize. I'm sorry, <laughs> y'all, for what I said yesterday or how I carried on in here yesterday, but I tried to live righteously. And I was there a long time before I knew why I was there. I knew when I first walked in the door of that building to check it out, the Holy Ghost spoke to me when I went in that room and told me to take that job when I had a couple of others that were offered to me. And so I took that job and he told me about 10 years later, he said, you're here to lead these young people to Christ. And I couldn't talk about Jesus openly. So we spoke in code. And whenever I had something to say to them, I would simply say, did you ask me? And they got it. Mm. And they would say, yeah, 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 what you got to say? And there it is. Mm. So just, just doing what you do and let God do the rest. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. That's a powerful witness too. That's a powerful because you really did minister to a lot of people, and I was there for some of that. And I said, "Wow, what a what a legacy this man! I, this is what I want to do. Wow, this is what I want to do." So you know, so I, glory to the name to the name of the Lord Jesus, mm. who puts us with people that we need to be with to to be, to be the example that we need to see, so that we can do what we need to do. Well, I remember when you came there to do your practicum. Because mm -hmm. a few people came from the university that you attended. And I remember when you came, you, you did not push your gift. Mm -hmm. You did not come in there, quote, being wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't know the, the, the fabulous musician you were for a few weeks. And finally, you got on that piano and you started doing some music in there in room 130 at Largo High School. And I said, oh yeah, yeah, his gift goes before him. His gift goes before him. And the things that you are doing now, you have blessed so, so many of us. And we bow to the God in you, glory to his name, Praise as you are blessing so many. And this work right here, mm. just letting people come and be themselves on your show, and honor Jesus. It's a great thing. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you so much. Will you bless us with a selection and then we'll take some requests after this. When George Floyd was assassinated, my heart went out. And so I just want to sing a little bit of this. Listening for your prayer. I'm here, don't despair, in times like these, call me, waiting for your cry, I'll answer by and by, in times like these, call me, I'll fix it for you work it out for you all because i love you you i'll never leave you can count on me you just watch and see in times like these call me in times like these, call me. On me you can call. I love you one and all. In times like these, call me. You won't walk alone. I'm here to see you home. In times like Please call me, I'll fix it for you, I'll work it out for you, and it's all because I love you, oh, you I'll never leave, you can count on me, you just watch and see. In times like these, call me. In times like 
He's calling In times like these In times like these In times like these Call me Praise Lord. Did you write that? I did. Amen. Yeah. I, I hear Richard all over it. My goodness. Hallelujah. What an honor. <laughs> That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you Thank so you. much. We needed to hear that. Thank God. Amen. We needed to hear that tonight. Our country was going through so much at that point in time. It's, and still is. And you know, yes. And, and, and still is going through a lot. Um, um, go, go ahead and play your favorite song. Every time you come on, you got to play your favorite song. Whew. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. song yes i was 16 when i heard that song for the first time richard smallwood in the dmv to us he's just richard and we love him dearly he was directing the youth choir the young adult choir at the union temple mm -hmm. baptist church in the early 70s 
and a buddy of mine had gone over there one Sunday morning and said, you got to hear this song. <laughs> and then they were, Reverend Wilson was preaching at the Antioch Baptist Church a couple of weeks later, and we went over there, and I heard, I love the Lord for the first time. And I still remember, I'll hasten to his throne. Hallelujah. It's, it's something divinely mystical about the, about the, about the vamp to that song. Yes. Yeah, it's, it really is. It's, it's, a, it's, it's got an everlasting anointing to it. It really yes. is. And I think, uh, you know, as he evolves uh, over time and, and as God has taken him through all the things that he's gone through, the songs that have come out of uh, come out have even been even more just yes sir gut wrenching yes and this is your favorite my this favorite Smallwood song is the next one that he writes but I I, I, will, <laughs> I I will I will tell you this is that I don't think that um, as I, I used to tell my kids in the choir the song the, the often the song that. God intends to change lives with is not the one that the radio plays. Come on. Mm -hmm. And so I remember when Kurt Franklin released, uh, I've been looking for you. I said, but that's not the song. Mm -hmm. The song is Imagine Me. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And and Richard Smallwoods uh, and, 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 the radio, and the radio did play this song, but this song, I believe, in the last 10 years to 15 years, has it is and 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 well beyond what I, uh, you and I can think about is going to affect so many people f for the rest of our days, and that is trust me. Oh yes, yes, I will be with you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And I have yet to hear it on the radio. Hmm. In your darkest hour, yes. In decision-making valley, <laughs> glory, 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 hallelujah. Lord, and then we get to that. I fight your battles. You, I just yes, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I am that I am. I am that I. Am. I have all power. <laughs> so just trust me, glory. Just trust me. Glory to the name and, of and Jesus. I, and and out, of his, out of his many struggles, these songs came out of it. He talks about yeah. the, the mental instability, uh, that, that birth total praise, and yes. so many other songs. But that trust me is something, something else. Mm. <laughs> but you know what? I, I mm. totally agree with you. But the pen of this brother, mm -hmm. the pen of Richard Smallwood, is anointed to the extent that whatever he comes up with, mm -hmm. <laughs> listen to it, because there's a word in there. Yeah, it was birth. It was birth out of it was birth out of a of a deep, of a deep sense of worship to God. Yes. And so uh, I just praise praise God for His ministry. All right, y'all. We got about thirty minutes left. Go ahead and put your requests in. We'll see what we can get through tonight. <laughs> uh, we'll get through. We'll do the best we can. <laughs> yes. Help us, Lord. <laughs> As soon as they put them in there, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. Okay. okay. Blessed Quietness. You know Blessed Quietness? Uh-huh. Go ahead, do a little bit of that for, for Miss Sandra Cruz. Blessed Quietness, Holy Quietness, what assurance in my soul. Out on the stormy sea, that's where Jesus speaks to me. And the billows cease to roll. Blessed quietness, holy quietness, what assurance in my soul. Out on my stormy sea, that's where Jesus speaks to me. And my billows, they cease. Douglas and Karen Graham, only a look that 
at Jesus. Oh, so bow down with care. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Who's that for? Sonia Noble. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There, the precious fountain. The healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain in the cross, in the cross, God be my glory ever there my raptured soul shall find I'll find rest beyond the real I hadn't done this all night, but let's be a blessing to Bishop Jeremiah Murphy. His, Murphy is Cash App, PayPal, and Zelle are up. And let's be a blessing to him tonight. Be a blessing to his ministry. Be a blessing to his legacy and all that he's done. Let's make sure we sow a seed. It's 380 of you watching now. Let's sow a seed into his ministry. Let's bless him. Blow his mind. Amen. Buy him several happy meals. Amen. <laughs> Leroy Latson, this is for you.
Ms. Lorraine Martin, we did Yes, Guys real earlier. Uh, so if you don't mind, let's get to the next, let's see if we can get to the, ne the next one. The Lord is in this place. Who wrote that? Oh, <laughs> Bishop Jeremiah Mur wow. Murphy wrote that. Can you do a little bit of that for us? Yes. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come and worship. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Mm. Come and worship, for the Lord is in this place. He is in this place. This place. song that's that's, that's that's it right there bishop thank god amen sister uh Movetta manning he's a friend unfailing I wanted to know if you had sheet music too. Uh, in fact, Embry Andrews, Reverend Dr. Embry Andrews, wanted to know if you had sheet music to the Lord's in this place. Hit me up, brother, so I can get it to you. God he, bless he, you, he my brother. He knows how to find you. <laughs> yeah, he knows how to find me. <laughs> that's my, that's, that's one, another one of my mentors, uh, Reverend Dr. Embry Andrews. What a great treasure. Amen. Uh, to our area and to the country. Yes, Amen. everybody loves him. Yeah, absolutely. Can you do a little bit of praise him for Pat Johnson? Whichever version you want to do. Praise him, that one. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Jesus, blessed Savior, he's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun Until the going down of the same He's worthy, Jesus is worthy He is worthy to, worthy to be praised Oh Praise him, praise him, yes, praise him, everybody ought to praise him, Jesus, blessed Savior, God is worthy to be praised. 
this semi driver past me now. Deacons, oh Lord, eh? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Just humming that thing, boy. I'm trying. <laughs> uh, What's next? <laughs> Can you do a little bit of My Soul Loves Jesus for Dr. Velma Smith? Reverend Dr. Velma Smith. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless his name. My soul loves Jesus. My soul. Loves Jesus, my soul loves Jesus, and I bless his name. Amen. This next one, uh, who was that one for? No, the, the one, uh, my soul of you. That was for Dr. Velma Smith. This is for Sister Laverne Auntie and my friend Laverne Auntie. She's one of my friends from down uh, down many years had a fall this week and so to keep, keep her in prayer keep our brother uh, Pastor Lloyd Austin in prayer as well and as well as Sister Zalandria Friday and uh, so many others in the Hymns family in prayer but we're going to pray them on through God's going to work it out so y'all y'all stay strong everybody but this is for you Sister Laverne I know what prayer can do I know what prayer can do I know what prayer can do. I know what prayer can do. I found the answer in prayer. Now tell it everywhere. I know, I know, I know what prayer can do. I know that prayer. Changes things. Ooh, prayer, prayer, prayer changes things. I've been out, oh yeah, out on a stormy sea, out on a stormy sea, out on a stormy sea. I've been hungry, hey, I've been sick, I've been filled with misery. Long came Jesus, long came Jesus, oh, Jesus rescued me. So I found the answer in prayer, and I'll tell it everywhere I know, hey. I know, I 
know, I know, I know, I know, I know what prayer can do. But we used to sing that song at the Mount Ephraim Baptist Church, and I promise it was it was no it was over after that, completely over. <laughs> Something about that song, I know. Yes. It's different between you when you start talking about, I know for myself mm -hmm. what prayer can do. Amen. God is just so, is she mean God is so good? Maybe she means that Miss Beverly Halsey. Do you know God is so good? If not, I'll do it. God is so good. God is so good God is so good yeah. He's so good to me I'm a witness that God answers prayer Our God answers prayer Yes, it does. God answers prayer, and He's so good to to me. Praise Him, praise Him. Amen. Uh, Francesca Lanfair, I don't, I don't know all the words of this, but uh, I'll play it for you. The, the chorus. Hear my Lord. Shady Green Pastures. Uh-uh. Um, Not well is, enough to this do This is it. for Sister Lynn Williams. Uh, let me see if I can do this for you, Sister Lynn Williams. Let me get, let me get my head together. Uh, hold on. That's an excellent rendition, considering you don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I just know some through the fire, some mm -hmm. through the flood. Yeah, I just know some through great trials, but all through the blood. That's my idea. Yeah, that's all I remember in my head. Yeah, well, you did just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know he, he knows how much we can bear? Who's that? Uh, no. I, when we say we don't know this stuff, everybody uh, out there, uh -huh. what we are saying is that we've probably heard it. We just don't remember enough of it to be able to do it. That's what we're talking about. That's me I know, every day of the week. I, yes. I, I, I feel. <laughs> what's that? Yes. For he knows. If yeah, if if it, if it had not been for the Lord, and I'll come back with, he knows how much we can bear. 
if it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be? Where would I be? He kept my enemies away. He let the sun shine through my cloudy days. He rocked me in the cradle of his arm. When he knew I had been battered by the storm So if it had not been for the Lord on my side Tell me where would I be? Oh, where would I be? Come on down now, come on down <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Y'all, we've had a time here with Bishop Jeremiah yes. Murphy tonight. Please sow a seed into his ministry, his Cash App, his PayPal, his Zelle are up. If, if you didn't get any of this, you can always send it to me. I'll make sure that he gets it before the morning time. But let's be a blessing to him. Let's be a blessing to his ministry. Thank you, Hymns family, for all the musicians and singers that you have been a blessing to. And for those of y'all who watch, who may not comment, but support, thank you so much for watching. For all of y'all watching by TV and, and can't comment, thank you. You, you, and you. God bless you. Let me do this one last one. Uh, that was for Cheryl Jarman, and this one, he knows how much we can bear is for who? Annie Rogers, this is for you. Huh? Do a little bit of I need thee every hour. The margin is I need yeah. thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender voice like thine can peace afford. I need thee, oh, I need thee every hour, God, I need thee, oh, oh, bless me now. I'm calling you my Savior, for I come yeah, yeah. to Thee. Yes, Lord. Bishop, you still got it on the piano. Come on, wow. you still you still working it. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, sir. <laughs> look, look, I always like to end with an encouraging word. Um, but what is the Lord saying to you in this hour, in this season? In this time of trouble that the world is in, and in particular the United States of America, we don't see things getting better as we look at the scriptures. Mm -hmm. But we see the promise of the people of God being protected mm. and being kept 
and being nurtured and being favored glory and being maintained by the power of the living God so no matter what you see no matter what you feel no matter what you experience trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding your understanding will trick you your understanding will lie to you your understanding will deceive you but God will never let you down hold on to him in Jesus name and, and, and that's a very accurate word because that's what he's been speaking to me in this time Hallelujah. and that's why it's so important to go out and evangelize to bring others to Christ because they need to be under the umbrella of God's protection brother can I say this come on now I have shared with Leading Commandment Church, both of our bodies, for we are one body, one church in two locations. I've shared with them many times the folk we decide we're going after to talk to about Jesus, they're not interested. But go after the ones who are broken. Go after the ones who are hurting. Go after the ones that don't smell as good as you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that don't look as good as you, whose clothes are a bit tattered. Go after them if the ones that have come out of king's houses won't listen to you because somebody needs this word. And sometimes it is the downtrodden that That's will accept right. it. They're ready to hear it. Yeah. They're ready to hear it. So thank you for that word. Everybody, once again, let's thank God for, um, and thank God for the gift in Bishop Jeremiah Murphy for his witness for his long-standing years of mentoring young people in the school system, for his, uh, for his leadership in Leading Commandment Church Seventh Day, for his leadership in, in, in uh, doing what the Lord has called him to do in this season. Three years ago, he and I weren't doing this. And look at what God is doing right now. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. God is calling his foot soldiers, both young and old, to do his will during this time. Won't you join in in this great parade, this great caravan to glory uh, that God is calling us to be on right now so that he can get his will accomplished in these last days. Amen. Amen. Let's give God glory tonight. We thank God. May you not you, worry Jesus. about anything because you have prayed about everything. May the peace of God be with each and every one of you in Jesus' name we pray. See most of you all, if not all of you all, tomorrow morning for morning devotion, 7.30 a.m. We're going to be here right on time, Eastern time. I want to thank my wife for assisting me tonight and all of you all for joining us. Bishop Murphy, hang on. Everybody take care. Yes, God bless you. God bless you, everyone.